hello everyone i hope you all are doing well so here i am with the uh, solidworks performance issue you will get this edge highlighting issue like if you hover on the model the model will be so you can see the screen right so uh, this will slow down your particular uh, system so this is a kind of graphics issue we'll see how to resolve it so you could see this is how exactly you're going to uh, have the issue so if you simply hover on the model you'll get the same thing what you can do is you can just go to the uh, solidworks rx so whichever the version you are using it and simply click on uh, diagnostics it will take some time and once that is done it will showcase all the issues so here everything seems okay if you feel something different or something a uh, red mark you can just eliminate it by just uh, repairing it so now here to solve this issue quickly you can use this option by passing the uh, tools and uh, options settings so this is the uh, very uh, quick answer for this particular uh, solution so again every time you just need to use it but uh, customer doesn't want to use this particular tool rx open and use this bypass tool so uh, to permanently eliminate this issue i'll showcase something else later but for now you could see once you run this uh, solidworks uh, bypass tool you could able to see you won't face this issue so it is quite okay here isn't it so you can even work on it you won't get that issue well so this is a uh, one way you can solve this now if you close it and if you reopen it normally you'll get the same thing see you know so this i want to completely avoid it so if you have the dedicated graphics card you can turn off and you can check uh, sometimes that will work with respect to performance okay here uh, you can uncheck these options and you can play with these options here and at the bottom here you could see uh, performance en enhancement so that you can turn it off so what you can do is oh you need to completely uh, uninstall your software the solidworks setup okay i'm going to remove everything even the registry uh, download files and all everything okay you just need to deactivate a license save it somewhere else first and uh, completely uh, remove the software uninstall it okay De deactivate the license very important <clears throat> okay you just need to enter the email id at the bottom it will be already there if it is not available there okay can I, you need to enter it so first thing is you just need to completely uh, remove the setup after uh, deactivating the license you could see it it is uh, it is telling us to it requires a continuous reboot so don't worry about it just say yes so while installing it will try to reboot if you want to uh, if you don't want to restart it again and again you can just say no there okay so for removing it might take uh, a few minutes for uninst uninstalling entire uh, setup so once the uninstallation is done what you can do is you can just go to the setup files the location where you have saved it and just run the setup again to install the software new before that before that uh, you need to remove all the registry files and windows c files what and all the things solidworks files are there no that i strongly suggest you to remove them you could see uh, in the windows 10 no the control folder access is enabled so it's in uh, the security settings the virus and protection so what you can do is you can just uh, go back to the virus and protection from there you have this uh, uh, the folder access so from here you could see in the virus and threat protection you can just use this ransomware protection and from here we have the uh, file access manage file from there you can just turn it off okay control folder access and check so now if you just go back and forward it you won't have this issue fine so just uh, define the toolbox name so instead of a solidworks data uh so you need to rename it as per the system like the software you're using solidworks 2022 now in the windows c just check 
the SOLIDWORKS files. So let me see. Uh, this is the one you deleted from the program files. Okay. So as we have deleted the uh, entire uh, registry and everything. So try to delete each and every file from the C. Okay. So even uh, uh, in uh, app data, you'll be having it in program files. You can even check it here. It is not available. There is nothing related to SOLIDWORKS. SOLIDWORKS training files. Okay. No issues with that. So uh, some hidden folders will be there. You just need to go to view and uh, use this option, the hidden files. You could see we have this uh, program data. So from here, you just check whether the SOLIDWORKS is available. Okay, so once that is done, you just go back to a registry editor. Just check whether you have any uh, registry files still uh, at your system. Just go to the current user software and SOLIDWORKS. So this you need to delete. Okay. So anyway, you are uh, installing it permanently, a new one, new setup. So I try to delete these, okay? In the software, you could even see here also it is there, okay? So what I'll do is I'll delete them. Okay. And even from the current user, you can delete this, so it works, files, okay? can even check with uh, other uh, registries and users you won't have it and even in uh, current configuration you don't be having any software there okay fine so uh, we have uh, removed everything from the registry as well so now we can proceed with the uh, installation so before that as i said you need to just uh, check the installation location that is in c uh, try to name it according to the set of files which you are installing 2022 sp5 which version like this version i'm using it the same thing here uh, the toolbox here also solidworks 2022 sp5 why i'm telling is sometimes some uh, customers might use multiple uh, setups so that time uh, this will avoid the complications and overriding all the files and all okay very important thing well, it might take again a few minutes to install. So once the installation is done, you can even cross check how exactly your system is uh, behaving with respect to the uh, earlier uh, setup and the new, completely new setup with the uh, default settings. Okay. Yeah, just open it. Before that, you need to activate your uh, license just click on next select all just enter the mail id again so the same mail id which you hunted before so you can even change it it depends okay once that is done you could see this the license uh, will be activated and you will get the pop-ups here you just need to uh, set the by default in your systems uh, kindly set it properly because Next time, if you want to open it, it will take the whatever the unit system you're going to specify now. I'll add MMGS and it will be fine. Click OK. Well, so now you could see if I just simply hover on the planes, it doesn't have any lag. If I go back to the model as well, it doesn't have any of kind of lags here. Okay. So these are the two alternative ways to just deal with this uh, particular issue. One is uh, directly uh, going to the SOLIDWORKS RX and uh, running the diagnostics, checking whether it has the graphics issues. Uh, sometimes if you are using the integrated graphics, uh, sorry, uh, like the NVIDIA Quadro graphics, it will show the uh, error. Sometimes the graphics might have uh, terminated you just need to activate it or else 
if you are using uh, integrated graphics like uh, the default one so that time sometimes you will uh, have this issue okay the uh, editing edge issue so that time you can run the open gl mode to avoid this issue uh, temporarily so if you want to completely eliminate it just uninstall your uh, solidworks setup completely once and then you can just uh, reinstall it with uh, removing all the registry files and all everything clearing every uh, windows c files and registry editings and then uh, you can easily uh, eliminate this particular system lag and edge highlighting issue yep so that's all about the session thank you guys stay tuned bye everyone